Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. Um, we're going to Soy 5 plus 1 to meet Trevor and some of the staff at the Hollywood Bar, which is just down here on the left. See the black and white sign? As you can see, it's still fairly quiet. It's before lunchtime. Because it's very nearly, t nearly two years since we did the first video on that. Uh, and um, <coughs> a lot of you guys have been asking about how how are various bars going that we've previously featured uh, and Hollywood's doing very well um well, I'll just take you inside and I'll show you around a little bit um we'll very briefly meet Trevor at the beginning and then you'll speak to him later we'll do an interview later uh, but the this video that is go is going to go up on YouTube except that obviously it will not have that introduction section and it will not have the whole central section which is all the interviews of all the girls on YouTube that is only on Patreon but if you remember this bar we did a video th three videos I think we've done and uh, it's uh, obviously themed on uh, on Hollywood movies uh, it's a nice bar and it's become more and more and more popular uh, it's become very very successful recently so we'll have a little look around let me show you the bar and then we'll go obviously at this stage that it wasn't open um, yet we, they just opened the shutters for the light to let the lighting for the camera uh, but what we have done with the next lot because all the girls are dressed in lingerie we've shut the doors you're the mama Sam yes and what's your name my name is Natty. Natty? Yes. Not Nutty, Natty. Natty. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah, and your name was? Patty. Patty. Oh, Patty, okay. So let me ask you <clears throat> Is Mama Sanj ID? She says sometimes. Sometimes she yaks yak you. Oh, really? <laughs> and, and Mama San, what's your favourite drink? Uh, Again? Wow, so many tequila roses. Yeah, yeah. And you've worked here for how long, you say? Uh, three months. Three months, yeah. okay. Fine. Um, <coughs> are the ladies scared of you? Uh, they cool are you, they're scared of you, yes or no? Somehow, but Sometimes. I think they're not scared, but they respect me. Good. Is Mama San an easy job or not easy job? Not easy job. Not easy? Yeah. What's What's the most bad thing about it? Mm, because Mama San has to take care of the lady when uh -huh. the lady needs some help. Okay. Yeah. yeah. And, and work hard. And work hard. In English you call it herding cats. Oh, no. Herding cats, but you won't understand that. But the guys listening will understand what herding cats means. Herding cats. <laughs> you, you understand. <laughs> right, fine, okay, okay. Thank you very much. That's thank all we need for the moment. Thank you very much. Thank you. Okay, thank you. Okay. Bye. Trevor, you are the owner. Yes. Yes. And Nutty, you're the mama son. Yes. We've done three videos before here, haven't we? <laughs> Uh, when you first opened, which is what, 18 months ago, is it? Oh, uh, yeah, well, two years on August the 1st. Yeah, okay, so yeah. 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 Didn't we did another one, like eight or nine yeah. months later. Yeah, we did do, we did a, a yeah. one six months later, and then we did one because the, you'd had a, some problems with your staff and what have you oh. it, for, for six months after, after, and then everything went well after yeah. that, didn't it? Yeah. yeah. And, we've put, right. and since we put Natty on, things have gone better because it's given us some real stability. Okay. Uh, and as much as we tease and whatever else, Natty's just a good woman and the girls yeah. respect her. Right, okay. Yeah. So you used to work before in a, in a hospital, did you say? Yes, I worked really? in a hospital before. You work in, and you, you take care of people, so now you take care of the girls? Yes. Yes, that's your, that's your main thing, yeah? So you, you told me that you got very busy on Soy 6. Uh, I'm sorry, all, all Soy 6 was busy, all the bars were busy during Song Cram. Yeah, Song Cram was really solid for us. Mm. Um, and I think because a lot of revelers come in for Song Cram, and we don't open till 4 o'clock, so technically, you know, oh, 
shuts down and all that at, at dark, not that it always does, but yeah. 6 30 ish sort of thing. Yeah. Um, so it gives our girls a couple of hours to get out there and go crazy. Then everybody comes inside and get changed and, you know, kick on for the night. So they're all ready in a good mood, um, you know, a bit of fun. Yeah. Um, yeah, it was good. I enjoyed yeah, yeah. it. Yeah. Well, yeah, I avoid it. <laughs> but, Look, but that's just me. No, it's it's great when you're in the bar. Like yeah. once I'm here and you know, I, and I bring, I've got a change of clothes upstairs and all yeah. that's good. Getting here and getting home again, yeah, ah, not so much. Yeah, you know? that's right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It didn't used to be like that. We used to finish at six o'clock when it went dark at one time. Yeah. A few years ago, about ten years ago, I used to finish at six. Yeah, they get you any time now. No, any time. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, <laughs> um. Tell me, what, what's the most difficult thing about being in charge of so many girls? Correct. Some of the girls, they're just they're easy. Yeah. Never yeah. late. Yeah. Just go along with everything. Like, M is easy. Like, mm. it's never a problem. Patty's easy, you know, other than, you know, she drops a few spot fires here and there. But, you know, she says what she thinks. Yeah. Um, but, you know, then some of them are just, you know, whatever, you know. It's yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, you know, it's, yeah. it's hard work. Yeah, so, so is, is there anything else we'd like to add before we open? Oh, you, you opened at four, at four o'clock now, don't you, by the way? Yeah, you, you that, changed that. Yeah, that's a lot of that to, is to do with recruitment. Yeah. Um, you know, two to four tends to be the guys that come in want a game, game of pool and a, and a beer and whatever else. Yeah. yeah. Um, and part of the reason we did it was because uh, when girls are looking at ads, they go, oh, this bar not open until four o'clock. It's yeah. good for me, yeah. you know, so yeah. Yeah. it helped with recruitment a little bit. Um, and also, one of the benefits of dealing with ties is if it's busy, they'll keep working. Yeah. It's not like the West, you know, if, it, if it's 2 a.m. close and you've got people in the West and they, yeah. 2 a.m., we shut the door. That's right. Whereas the ties, if the money's flying, they'll keep working. Yeah, they will. Know? Yeah, and yeah. just good value like that. So it's kind of like give and take, you yeah. know. So they, they don't mind working longer. Uh, later yes longer hours no because they want to start late <laughs> yes because if they start at eight o'clock that's good <laughs> yeah but you know if, if they don't want to start really as a at mid midday they just don't want to do it yeah. you know they and i think um, i know we've discussed this privately but I, one of the advantages of this soy is that it closes at 2 a.m yes so what that means is for the younger pretty girls that you know want to go to the nightclub afterwards or yeah. they want to go and have yeah. Thai barbecue with their friends yeah. they like that you know flexibility of it does yeah. close yeah, yeah, yeah. unless you know they're in a bar that's kicking on and they cool the shutters down and keep the party going kind yeah, of yeah. but it means that for the soy it's actually ended up being a beneficial thing because you're able to recruit a better quality of girl yes yeah. that's right yeah yeah and, and, and the customers now, they've changed, their dem demographics have changed, haven't they, from what they were a few years ago. Um, uh, there's more um, Asian people here now. Yeah, a lot more Koreans. Yeah. Um, yeah I, I don't know, I mean, I, I have, I've been a hunter here for, well, let's not even go there, but it's over 15 years. Um, and I do notice that there's a lot more you know, Asians in general yes, there is. Um, than there was when I first came here. You know, it's kind of been incremental. You just kind of get used to it. You know? Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 And, and a lot of them are younger as well. I've noticed yeah. that too. I think yeah. the younger audience is something that I've noticed compared to when I very first came here. Very much so. Um, very much that there is a generation of young men that go, hey, you know what? I won't go to Ibiza, I'll go to Patia, you know. Yeah, well, it's, it, it's the uh, the internet that's done that. Yes. I mean, the first time I ever came, God knows how many years ago, no one had heard of Patia, right. nobody knew what it was, and it certainly wasn't on the internet. No. You know, uh, even the, even though it was in its infancy, it still was not on the internet for, ooh, another 10 years after that, 15 years. Correct. Well, that's yeah. exactly what happened to me. Yeah. I was in Patia, uh, sorry, I was in Phuket, mm -hmm. and I'd been there a, a couple of times. I was sitting in the bar with a guy and he said, oh, have you been to Patia? And I went, where's Patia? Never heard of it. You know? <laughs> uh, it's a long time ago now, but yeah, yeah, it just yeah. goes to show you that, yeah. um, you know, you, you, you only, so much of what we've learned is to learn from online and learn yeah, from That's right. I've never heard of it before. All of that is within the last, what, 15 years? Yeah, I'm going to go close to 20. To <laughs> but yes, it's, it's not, it's not a, a, you know, it's a fairly new thing. Yeah, 
Definitely, yeah. I mean, what I've really noticed is the, the young Koreans uh, who are here now. I, I didn't see those five years ago. As little as five years ago, I didn't see young Korean guys. I, I don't know. You, you, I know a couple of the bars that have had Korean customers for a long time. Yeah. They've been open at least five years. So yeah. I think you probably, yeah, th but there's maybe more of them now. Yeah, much yeah. more. Um, much more, yeah. And, they, you know, they're, they're, they're never a drama as customer. No, no, they no. Like no they're the they're fine. They don't like to be in the front of the bar. Um, and, you know, yeah, yeah. No, they don't. No, they're, they're fine. They're fine. I'm just, I'm just making guys aware of the different demographics from it was a, years ago. Yeah, yeah. And you know, it's a bit of the League of Nations in Patio. It is now. Come from everywhere. We don't mind. <laughs> yeah, yeah. As long and as so, you pay your bin, we're happy. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. And and everyone has to have a trip down so it's it. Yes. You know, oh. Everyone. It's kind of an iconic place. I always think. I don't think there's anywhere else that I've seen anywhere in the world that's like this. Yeah. No, I haven't. No. Uh, I've been to Amsterdam. I've been to Las Vegas, and I've been to other places. No, there's nothing like like Soy Six or, or particularly Soy Six, but certainly nothing like Patty that I know of. It's a great place for people who are impulse driven. Yes. <laughs> yes. 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 <laughs> Oh well, there was th there's, there's three types of people who come here, three types of men who come here. Oh, that's an old bar girl told me this many, many years ago. Three types of men who come from Thailand. Yeah, so, that's right. Um, crazy man, yeah. horny man, yeah. and lonely man. Yeah. <laughs> lonely. <laughs> and, okay. and the best one is the lonely man. <laughs> He's a man who takes you to a shop, uh, buy you telephone, and yeah, yeah, a good yeah. man. Yeah, yeah, that, that, uh, <laughs> <laughs> Right, interesting, interesting. Fine, so. Uh, anything else you'd like to say? Oh, no, no, just anybody who's in, uh, who's watched the video, um, whether this is on Patreon or YouTube, um, and you pop into the bar and, and you know, either Natty's here or I'm here, yeah. um, just introduce yourself and say, oh, I saw you on, on, on the video. Yeah. Um, and, you know, we'll do our very best to make you as welcome as we possibly can. Um, be aware that the bar's a low pressure bar. Yeah. Um, our drink prices are reasonable. Mm. Um, just try and make people have a really relaxed um, environment that they can enjoy themselves. Mm -hmm. yeah. Fine, fine, fine. So guys, you need to come. You need to come to Hollywood. <laughs> Not the Hollywood in California, Hollywood in Patria. <laughs> okay, so we can wrap up the video there. So I hope you enjoyed the video guys. Um, just before the first interview, you saw a girl just start to walk around the corner. Uh, that was the first one of 20 who we actually did on on the Patreon video, uh, a full interview. And the whole video is like 10 minutes longer than this one. I'd love to show you that, but if I did, the ads would be cut immediately and I'd be working for nothing. So that's the reason for Patreon, so we can show a little bit more and get more in depth, okay, without having the ads cut, because uh, there are none on Patreon. So please subscribe, like, share, ring the bell and go below and click more and have a look at Patreon.